Hi everybody, welcome in. Good day to all of you. Welcome back to our channel family. I'm so glad that you get to come back into our homes and encourage you another day. I love all of you so much family. Hi to everybody all over the world. My name is Prophetess Nikki G and welcome to our channel. If you're new to our channel, we are so glad that you decided to drop by and get your daily dose of inspiration and to get your daily dose of motivation. Here on our channel, we talk about everything family. We're very transparent on our channel. We're going to promote our faith and we're going to learn how to respond how God wants us to respond. To those of you who've been there with me from day one, thank every single one of you for everything that you do daily to help bring glory to God's channel. Family, before we dive into the video, don't get scammed in the comment section of the videos. I want all of you to do me a huge, huge favor. Whenever you see these scammers in the comment section, it doesn't matter if, if, if it's my picture icon or somebody else. I am asking you graciously, I want you to type in there, scammer. I want you to type scammer, and I want you to delete the notification. I want you to report that. God wants me to let you know this today, family of God. You know some people's number one ministry. I mean, I'm minding my own business, glory be to God. Some people's main ministry is to get on your nerves. You know, there are a lot of people in this world who wants to do nothing but get up under your skin, who wants to do absolutely nothing but get on your nerve. This is their main ministry, is to get on your nerves, family of God. And it is your job and your main ministry has to be to continue to walk forward. Your main ministry has to be to go forward, not looking back. When people have a, a goal or when, when people have such a desire, when people have made it their business, and when people have made it a lifelong ministry to get on your nerves, you know what you have to do, family of God? You got to keep going. You got to keep going forward. You can't be like Lot's wife. You can't look back. And whatever you do, don't you entertain these people. Don't you entertain it because they want a response out of you, family of God. And you're giving them a response. <clears throat> excuse me, but not just the response that they want you to give them. So you're going to continue to soar high. As these people go low, you're going to keep going high. You're going to keep going high, and you're going to keep going high, and you're going to keep going high, family of God. Some people's main ministry for your life, some people's main ministry in your life is to really get on your nerves. This is called Panina's ministry. Panina has been sit in your life to get on your nerves. Panina, that's right. Remember Panina and Hannah? Remember those two women was married to one man? Elkanah? So Panina has been sent into your life to get on your nerves. God has sent Panina's ministry in your life to get up under your skin. Whenever you're sitting dormant somewhere and you're supposed to move and you haven't moved, when God has told you to get somewhere and you're just making an excuse why you can't leave and why you can't get this done, <clears throat> excuse me when you're looking at all of your natural resources as to why you can't get this done guess what god gonna send in our life <laughs> god has such a sense of humor family i'm telling you this is panina's ministry some of you have come face to face with panina's ministry some of you have come face to face with panina's ministry panina was sent into your life to get some fire up under you so you can get from one place to the next place. And some people, number one job is to get on your nerves, family. Their number one position in this world is to get on your nerves, is to get under your skin. And your job is to go forward. Your job is never to look back. Your job is never to turn around and entertain these people. Your number one job, you remember this. It is not to defend yourself. God is your defender. You don't have to defend yourself. Keep going. Don't look back. Don't mind the chatter. Let people say what they want to say. Let people do whatever they want to do, family of God. Even when people keep doing everything that they can to scoff at you, to keep trying to do what they can to aggravate you, and to get on your nerves, family of God. You have to keep going. You have to. You can't entertain this. This is behind you. You can't turn around. Don't turn around. 
Don't turn around and entertain. I don't care what they say, what they're doing, whatever you do. You let a buzzard be a, a buzzard. Birds of a feather will always flock together. Panina was sending your life to get on your nerves. Panina was sending your life to put some fire up under you so you can get done exactly what you need to get done. Some people have made it their number one goal. Isn't that sad? Isn't that a shame? Some people have made it their number one goal. Their main ministry in your life is to get on your nerves. Some people's main ministry for you is to aggravate you. Some people's main ministry for you is to cause you as much frustration and to cause you as much aggravation as possible. And every time they go low, go high. Every time people try to go high, low family of God, you got to keep going high. You got to keep soaring. This has to be your response. This has to be your response. You have to soar. When you see Panina in your life, you got to keep flying high. You got to keep flying high. They hate the fact that you're flying high. They're buzzers. Buzzers can't soar with eagles. Birds of a feather flock together. You got buzzers and you have eagles. You're not, a eagle. you're, not a, you're not a buzzard. You're an eagle. Buzzers eat on things that are dead. Eagles, they soar. They soar high. They fly with the wind. Eagles are very powerful creatures. Glory be to God. Some people's main ministry for your life is to get on your nerves, to get right up under your skin. It is. Some people will do their best to trigger the attitude that God healed you from. Where you used to run your mouth and tell people a piece of your mind every time they hit that right button with you. Panina. Panina. You're going to meet Panina. Before God elevates you to the next level, you're going to meet Panina. I met Panina. My God. God has to do a work within us. Y'all hear me, family of God? God to teach us. See, this is why God tells us to humble ourselves. How do we humble ourselves? First, we humble ourselves under the, all, the hand of the Almighty God. But you got to be submissive in order to submit. Because submit means we're up under, not over. We are under. We're not over we are under the almighty hand of god but nina has been sent into your life family of god so you can get moving so when people come into your life with this panina's ministry family of god because some people don't do everything they can to get on your nerves some people want a reaction out of your family to get on your nerves you know some people want you to tell them off you know some people want you to come out of your character they want to they want to they want to be so right about you and they're going to be so wrong. You know, people want to be so right about you, but they're going to be so wrong. They want to say you don't have what you say you have. You're not of God. God didn't call you. God didn't choose you. And they're poking at you. They're poking at you. They want a response from you. And your response that you give them is to keep soaring high. Every time somebody get on your nerves, you keep soaring high. Don't you turn around one time and entertain these ignorant people. Keep soaring high. It's not the response that they want. It doesn't matter. You keep soaring high. You don't turn around and entertain this. You don't turn around and lower your standards, family, for people who are not going anywhere in their life. This is their calling. This is people's calling. Some people have a calling. Some people have a worldwide ministry to get on your nerves. <laughs> you hear me, family? I am telling you, I am laughing, but I am so serious. Some people's ministry is to get on your nerves. They have a wide, a worldwide calling to get on your nerves because they want to be so right about you in a bad way. But they're going to always be wrong about your family. See, this is getting on people's nerves who's trying to get on your nerves that they want so bad for you to come out of your character. And to come out of your integrity so they can tell the people that they're talking negative about. They want to say you don't have what you say you have, family of God. So you remember that when that enemy comes jabbing at you. You remember when you come face to face with Panina. You're going to come face to face with Panina if you haven't. Panina going to get on your nerves. Panina going to show you everybody blessed except you. Panina's going to show you everybody is fruitful except you. Panina going to get on your nerves, family of God. You know, Panina's ministry going to drive you to your knees. 
Panina's ministry was designed to drive us to our knees. Panina's ministry lit a fire up under us, family, because we got stuck in places too long. We sat in things too long. We stayed in environments that God didn't even call us in. You know, we have to pray, family, always, and we got to be so mindful of the people that we entertain. We really, really do, family of God, because everybody's not for you. I want you to understand this. We say it, but you got to know it in your spirit. Everybody is not for you that say they're for you. They're not. You got to stay focused. You have a job to do. You have an assignment to complete, and you got to always be aware. You have Panina. You have people who have made it their number one job. People are faithful and doing everything that they can to get you out of your character. People want to trigger you. You know the parts of you that God has healed? Those parts of you? Panina is coming to trigger that. You know, this is what a real enemy is, and this is what a real enemy does. The parts of you that God has put a death to, those parts of you that God has put a death to, you know the enemy is going to come in your life to try to resurrect that. Don't allow hell to come in your life to resurrect that family of God. This is why you can't entertain everybody. You can't. You can't entertain everybody. Everybody can't come to your home. Everybody can't ride with you. They cannot go where you are going. And the more you try to take people that God didn't call with you, the more hell you're going to go through with. And eventually, just like Abraham and Lot, you're going to make your peace. They're going to go their way. And you're going to go your way because God did not call certain people with us. God did not call certain people to us. God did not call certain people to go the duration of the journey that he has called you and I to. We call people to us. Because we like individuals. But you remember this. We cannot do that. Before we make a decision, we have to be kingdom minded. It doesn't matter how much we like a person. It doesn't matter how much we've known a person, family of God. It has to be a kingdom decision. Let every decision that you make be a kingdom decision. And you remember this family of God every day that God give you. Some people have made a decision to get on your nerves. Some people's main ministry is to get on your nerves. Some people's main ministry was to cause you to get out of frustration. You know that certain person that you deal with that gets on your nerves real easy? That person, that's Panina coming into your life. It's some parts of your life that God wants to heal before he elevate you. You're evolving, you're healing, but God wants you to heal a little bit more, family of God. Cut Lot off and leave Lot where he's supposed to be, family of God. I love all of you so much, family. Thank you for what you do on our channel every single day to help bring glory to God's channel. Thank you for supporting the book. I'm very appreciative to all of you, family of God. You keep going because truly the best is yet to come for you. It is. You got a lot of battles to face, but you got a lot of blessings to receive as well. There is not one battle that you will have to face without gaining a harvest from that fight. Just like David, when he slayed Goliath, there was a reward. You're going to get a reward for slaying your giant. You're going to get a reward, family, for slaying your giant. Keep going. And don't focus on everything that's going wrong in your life, family. Look at what is going right. Don't look at what you think you don't have. Look at what you do have. Don't look at the things that you want. You look at the needs that God is going to provide. You know, God will give you some things that you want as well, family of God. But what will block our flow of blessing is gratitude. When we don't show gratitude, God won't bless us so much. So we have to learn. It's a process. So don't beat yourself up. It's a process. And I'm telling you from experience, family of God, and dealing with a lot of people from all over the world, counseling people and speaking life into people's lives, it takes time. So don't beat up on yourself. Because you're going to get there. You are. You remember that some people coming into your life, family of God, as Panina, and that is to get on your nerve. These people are going to come into your life and get on your nerves. These people are going to provoke change in your life. They are. They're going to poke buttons. They're going to do their best to trigger you. They want to get you to come out of character because they want to be so right about your family of God. The people they are talking ill to about you, 
They want to be so right about you, but they're going to be so wrong. So you be mindful. Don't let people trigger you. Don't allow anybody to cause you to get out of your peace. Don't you allow one person on the face of this earth to cause you to get out, get out of your peace. Before you get out of your peace, you take your self-respect and your integrity and you walk away. Because people are not worth your destiny. You don't want to keep stopping and starting in life, family of God. You don't want to keep stopping and starting over. You don't want to be a hindrance to yourself, family of God. God sends Penina, Penina in our life to put some fire up under us so that we can get to the place that we need to be. Penina will be sent into your life, family of God, to drive you to your needs. That prayer life that maybe you've forsaken some. Panina will come into your life to drive you to your knees. If you've lost a good relationship with people in your life that you love, if you've lost a good relationship with God, Panina will come in your life and drive you to your knees. He'll cause you to pray. When you're in trouble, it'll cause you to pray like you've never prayed before. But God wants us to have that powerful prayer life when we're not in hell. When we're in peace, we pray. We pray in a time of peace. Some people have that backwards. We pray all the time. But praying in a time of war won't be so effective when you pray in a time of peace. But sometimes we, neg we neglect to pray in a time of peace. Because sometimes when we're carnal and we're not spiritually mature, we think that just because we're in a good place, we don't have to pray as much. The more you are blessed, the more you need to play, pray. The more you see God blessing you and answering your prayers, the more you need to pray, family of God. Always pray and always show gratitude because these things are going to open the windows of heaven for you and it's going to cause God to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. Thank God for Panina's ministry, family of God. Panina's ministry is going to make you strong. They can't kill you. They can't destroy you. They can't do nothing to your family of God, but drive you to your knees and make you pray. Glory be to God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in every tongue that rise against you. It shall be condemned. I thank God for your day going well, family. I thank God for the answers that you are seeking, that it will come. Sometimes we have to lay down our plate and fast and pray. Some things God say will come through fasting and prayer. But before you lay your plate down and Play down and pray and fast. Before you go on that fast, you pray. And if you're on a physician, you consult with your own doctor, family of God, giving you the word of God, nothing but the truth and the whole truth. You are going to be free from Panina's ministry, family of God. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, thank God for Panina's ministry, family of God. Thank God for Panina's ministry because Panina's ministry has made you strong. It didn't kill you. It made you stronger, didn't it? Whatever didn't destroy you, it has made you a stronger person. It's made you better and it's made you wiser. Focus on your life. Focus on your calling. Don't focus on Panina. Don't focus on what people are doing. Don't focus on what people are saying. Don't focus on somebody else's life, how happy they are. Don't focus on any of these things because you're going to miss out on what God wants to do in your life, family of God. I love you. We'll talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, don't forget to like our videos and share them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, family. I'm so appreciative. Once more, I'm praying for you. I am touching and agreeing. That God's will is going to be done in your life because God's will is going to be done in your life. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.